everybody so today i filmed this video this is a look inspired by japanese actress and trans icon maki Kurosawa. it was a little hard for me to find information on her obviously because i don't speak japanese um but i found her personal blog that i believe she still keeps updated to this day um i, I couldn't read any of the captions but i saw beautiful photos of her so the hair and makeup are pretty much inspired by this photo um the hair is just big loose it was in rollers and now it's down and this is what it looks like um the makeup is inspired by a look that she does a lot and you can see that right here it is like a very neutral eye with like a nice um kind of cat eye under the eye and above the eye as well too so i love this look i loved how this turned out i had to pay homage to her she is so beautiful and you know i wanted to add her to my trans icon series i really hope you guys enjoy the video it means more to me than i can ever describe that you've decided to watch it so thank you so much i hope you have a great day and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye Okay, starting with P. Louise base on the eyes as always. Um, for brows, I'm going to be using the P. Louise Oso Browdiful Skinny Brow Pencil, but you can use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. That's another one that's a really good option. Um, for the eyes, I'm going to be using I'm Shy from the Orgy Palette, Jeffree Star Cosmetics on the lid and on the um, brow bone. And then I'll be using Versatile in the crease. And that is pretty much it for the shadow. I'm just doing that to kind of give some type of dimension, some type of, um, I don't know, like uniformity to the look. Because if I do no shadow or anything like that, it's just going to look like one. It's just going to look like my foundation over my eye. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, um, for the eyeliner i'm using the made by mitchell uh black milk graphite liquid eyeliner and i'm almost out of this unfortunately even though it is my favorite eyeliner ever um so that really sucks i'm gonna have to stock up on one but i'm not paying shipping for just one eyeliner you know what i mean like that sucks anyway for the wing i wanted it to be more soft and not like a definitive eyeliner um like a like a very stark eyeline i mean so i used glory hole from orgy palette which is just a black color and clean it up to give a more sharp look then i curled the lashes and then i used the benefit their real magnetic mascara and for eyelashes i used the think show lashes magnetic eyeliner and the think show lashes nocturne magnetic lashes and i will go ahead and i will apply those and while i was doing this i did actually um screw up my eyeliner and i smudged it so you'll see in one part uh right there that i had to go in with a makeup wipe and just clean that up and then i reapplied the p louise base and then reapplied the eyeshadow so that's how i fixed that issue i just wanted to keep that in just in case you're curious for face i'm using the elf poreless putty primer and i'm going to go ahead and apply that all over the face and for concealer i'm using the juvia's place i am magic concealer i'll be using that under my eyes on my chin and on my forehead and I'll be blending everything out with this uh, beauty blender sponge. I think it's the Cream Shop and Hello Kitty one. Um, the reason I'm doing everything with a sponge is I want it to be not as full coverage. So I'm when I find when I use my finger under my eyes, I get more coverage. So I'm just going ahead and doing that. And then I will be applying my foundation. And with my foundation, I take a brush. It is a Real Techniques foundation brush, if I'm not mistaken, and I just apply that all over my face. It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation, and I will apply that all over, and then I will um, go ahead with the sponge and blend everything out. Um, well, I, should, I shouldn't say blend everything out because it's already pretty much moved all over my face i just kind of pat it in to make sure that it's getting rid of the lines from the brush and getting rid of the uh texture from that i want it to be more skin like and that's kind of what i find the uh, sponge does 
Then I'll be using the Made by Mitchell Teach and Peach Blush. One of my fave colors. Maki doesn't have much blush on um, ever, I find, in pretty much every photo I've seen. But I was scared that it would look more like a mask. I find, me personally, when I don't have any depth on my face, my foundation looks more like a mask. Um, so that's why I wanted to avoid that. Then I'm using the Makeup Revolution Light Ultra Cream Bronzer. And I'll be applying that on my forehead, along the perimeter of my cheeks, and then on my uh, chin. So it's all along the perimeter of my face. There's no sharp lines or anything like that. Uh, for setting the face, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder, the white color under my eyes, and then my skin color along the rest of my face. And then for the loose powder, I will go ahead and use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in the color Light. And I will use that all over my face. I want to make sure that everything is completely matte and... Um, then go in and add glow onto it later just because I don't want any hair to stick to it or anything like that. So this is the setting powder where I'll be applying it along the hairline and then dusting it under the eye so that I don't put on the bulk of the product under the eye because if you do, then it can get cakey and get in fine lines and things like that. Um, then I will go ahead and I will use the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 1, and I will use the orange color that's in there on my cheeks, and I really, really blend that out. So apply that and then really, really buff it out uh, to make sure that it's more of a natural kind of wash over the cheek. Um, then I'll be using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze and applying that all over the perimeter of the face as well. For lips, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheeked Lip Liner and the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. And I will, um, oh, also, I totally forgot to mention that I did use the uh, ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter just along my cheeks. And for under my eyes, I used that Glory Hole color again to uh, draw out that uh, winged out under eye liner that Maki has. And I used, to get a more sharp look down there, I used the um, e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. And I find that that gave a nice sharp appearance on the outer corner. Um, and for in the eyeline, um, the waterline, I should say, I use the Sephora Long Lasting Cool Pencil in the color Infinite Beige. Just applying a bit of the um, lighter shadow along the outer too, to really give that pop. So you can see there, um, I did also use the Made by Mitchell one under, but because it's so... I'm, I've run out of it so much, it's pretty much didn't really do much under there, so. And then I'm just going ahead and softening that up and redefining more of the inner portion as well, too. For hair, it was very simple. I curled this with a wand and then put it up into rollers, took the rollers out, and I got this huge barrel curl. Um, it was very voluminous, very effortless. And all I did was applied my hair and it was all good to go. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.